Hey everybody, Digital Unity here, and welcome back to the Botto Daily Challenge. Today we got a fun one. We got Gasgano on Spice Mine Run. Nothing special about it, but you know, I like both of these things. <laughs> We're gonna see what we can get here. I consider myself to be mighty decent at Spice Mine. I am not a certified Gasgano enjoyer, however. Uh, that's that ain't me, Chief. Well, that's less than ideal there. This is fast terrain, so we want to be cooling here anyway, and Gasgano certainly takes a long time to cool. That's a good time to reboost. We're on fire. If I had to repair anywhere, I'm glad it was going downhill, so that it had a reduced impact on me as a person. Funnily enough, I was just practicing this last night with Ben, so... It's you know, tourney season, it's upon us, I've, I've made it into lower bracket. I've crashed into a wall in market. But you know, because tourney season is here and I'm in the lower bracket, I want to make sure that I have as many good tracks under my belt as possible, so as to remove people's options for safety picks against me. So a lot of the times today are hovering around like 4.06, well 4.07 I think is, is the time they're hovering around. I'd have to check the leaderboard again, but I checked it before I started recording, and I'm pretty sure they're all hovering, you know, around 4.07, 4, 4.06, 4.08 low. Okay, into the... I don't actually know what to call that area, and I've crashed because I was thinking too hard about what that area would be called. I guess that is the eponymous spice mine through which we are running. So guys, guy it takes longer to cool than he does to heat up, which is, you know, that's not a good feature for a pod to have. Boost thrust only brings him up to 900, so he's only got about 300 boost thrusts there. No worries about underheating in market. 123.76 first lap. Uh, ben Quadenaros can usually pull a 115.114 for me on lap one, so that's not too bad. Not happy about the engine fires. They're uh, they're kind of not fun. Reboost there, so as not to underheat. It is unfortunate that I have to reboost on fast terrain, but you know what? Else, what are you gonna do? Still not underheating through market, but that was not ideal. To be on fire for that long, get another 123 lap. No. 
no worries about Dozer being in a bad spot. That Dozer does move, uh, in case you've never noticed, uh, but it is capable of motion. As is that minecart, which uh, can be a problem for many players. No matter what skill level, that minecart can be a real issue if you're not careful and if you aren't aware of where it is. I must have said the wrong time earlier. Yeah, I definitely said the wrong time earlier. 407, 408 is where I want to be hovering around. Because right now we're at a 41069 and diamond time is 409.62. So I think that could all be helped if we just, like, didn't catch fire nearly as often. So we're gonna do it again. This time with a touch less combustion. He says, immediately catching fire. Keep a much closer eye on that today. Assuming all of the timings are the same as last time, they are already different. That's fine, actually. I'm okay with that. Gasgano is a Zexto. Uh, he's got four arms, and he's very stinky. That's spelled with X-E-X-T-O. These are the weird... Star Wars facts that I know. They're like species names of obscure side characters from a movie that was pretty much universally panned. He pilots an Ord Pedrovia. Uh, I've got conflicting accounts as to whether or not it was custom built or purchased, and I'm, I'm not sure, not sure exactly who to believe on that, so I'm gonna just go with the idea that he had it custom built by a company. That makes the most sense. That's the minecart I was telling you about. Didn't even see the dumb thing. Couldn't see it through Gasgano himself. That's okay though, we underheated pretty badly anyway, so we'll just try again, and this time we won't underheat so much. Or catch fire on the first boost. Through the spice mine. And it's into this series of magma tubes. For a 12313 lap. A little bit of pinballing, but it's okay because we ended up in line with the next apex. That was horrible. I don't know what I was thinking there. I think a lot of my time save on this one really does just come down to better lines and not lighting on fire. Okay, downhill one. It's fine to take inside lines each time as long as you go around the minecart at the end. Downhill 2 will want to go a little wide. Why am I doing that? You gotta understand, part of me wants to switch to far cam, but I know that the viewing experience is enhanced by near cam. Like, it's just easier to watch if I don't keep changing my camera angles. Definitely not easier to see. Underheat, that's good. 
Stop bonking there! That's a dumb bonk. I hate it. I'm I'm so mad. I keep doing that. Oh, now we're boosting too much. Just focus on your lines, D. You focus on your lines. Interesting fact, in the movie, Gasgano drives defensively. Like, he drives specifically so that other racers can't pass him. Gasgano, like, actually just is an actual, real, life, real competitive racer. Like, he drives and treats the race, you know, like a race. Meanwhile, we got people like Sebulba grabbing whatever garbage they got in their cockpit and throwing it back into the... Ooh, into the turbo fans of his opponents. I thought I died, but apparently I just drove into a very dark shadow. Utterly terrifying. <laughs> That does hit diamond time. That's a 40917. Puts me fifth place overall on the leaderboard, but that was that was hard fought. Ah, <laughs> uh, 409174. Let's go. Let's go one more time. I feel like I can do better. Especially if I use slide manipulation on that. Uh, on that bump that I keep losing my boost on. Like, if I slide manip that, that's gonna be way better for us overall. We're, we're trying to make some little micro-optimizations here at this point. Oh! So, um, a lot of people might be confused when I said the word slide manip earlier. What that basically means is, um, slide reduces your traction, right? What nobody tells you is that traction works in three dimensions, because why would it? But um, it doesn't just control your yaw, it also controls your pitch. So if you hold slide down, you have reduced traction on the y-axis as well, so you go over bumps a little smoother and you get um, more airtime or less airtime depending upon what angle you were at when you held the slide button. It's, it's wild. It's like too strong almost. Keep the inside here. Keep right. Left lane ends, keep right. There we go. Ah! It was slower. That was slower than the last one. Come on, we can PB one more time. Or we can smack into a wall. Also an option. Didn't 
properly slide in that one. One, two, three, oh, four. Nice. That's an entertaining time. It's very silly. Very bad. That was a terrible bonk. Right in the middle complimenting my other line for being so good, I bonk and get a, a line that's terrible. side. Also a little on the wide side, but it is a 122.62. Just to get a little bit more heat in my system. Didn't underheat, but I wanted to hold that boost, so I have no idea why I let go of my controller for a second, but I, I definitely let go of my controller grip. Which was not a smart or good move. I'm a little nervous now. That might have cost me a 408. My life flashed before my eyes. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one. I like that very much. 8053. Yeah, that'll be that'll be quite nice. I think that's good for this daily. You less a pretty good no doubts then, huh? <laughs> that's gonna do it for today's daily challenge. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like challenges like these and want to try them out for yourself, come on down to the Star Wars Episode 1 Racer Discord. There's a link to join in the description, and we keep the challenges in the Bottos Junkyard channel. We get a new one every day, and I make a video on it every day, so if you don't want to miss a beat, consider subscribing. And leave a like or a comment down below to let YouTube know that I'm still out here, still making content, and still having a great time playing Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said in this video, it is tournament season! And boy, is it starting to pop off. We got some good ones coming. We got two events now scheduled for Saturday, May 27th. At noon, Eastern Daylight Time, it will be Lower Winner's Quarters, Nacho Brado versus Droopy Angora. 
And then at 9 p.m. that same day is Metallica 5167 versus Homura Akemi, which I believe is the upper winner's quarters, but I'm not sure the upper bracket might be larger than the lower bracket. I'd have to double check. Until next time, I've been Digital Unity, and this has been a rather enjoyable Gasgano Daily. <laughs>